This is part three of a four-part series on the photo association page of the Hill and Nichols clan website. As we start this video, I have already signed in as Chicky and have come to the photo association page. In part two of this series, we associated this picture with Dale and Pete. In this video, we will focus on creating, managing, and associating an event or events with pictures. So to start off, I will click on the button titled Manage Events down here at the bottom. And we come to this screen. Running down the left hand side is a listing of events that have been created previously. On the right, the picture is shown so we remember which picture we are working on. And like many of my screens, a big black search bar runs across the top. Only this one has no options. You just type in whatever you want in order to find an event that will match the picture. This picture was taken by Chicky at the Moore home during the 1999 Nichols, Tennessee reunion. So I'll type in T-E-N-N -N for the first part of Tennessee. And you can see at the top is the event we want. So I click on it to select it. Notice in the center it shows a listing box titled Child Events and it lists several. I'll scroll down to find the More Home and click on that. Here is a rule that will save you some work. Where there is a parent-child relationship between events like this one, always select and associate the child event. If the appropriate child event does not exist for the parent, you can create one, and we'll be doing that in a few minutes. Right now, I'm going to click on the button titled Associate, and I want you to pay attention to what happens in this listing box right under the picture titled Associated Events. Now you see it automatically associated the parent event when we associated the child. And that is why it is best to associate a child, because it will do the parent for you. At this point, I want to discuss event types. There are three. Parent events, child events, and orphan events. With the event types in this program, unlike humans, a parent cannot be a child, a child cannot be a parent, and an orphan is neither child nor parent. Let me show you how you can tell what type an event is. I'll select this top event, the 1962 JLH wedding, which was my wedding. Notice that it does not have a parent selected, nor are their children listed. So that means this is an orphan event. It has neither parent nor child. Now I'll select the 2005 Nichols Newport reunion and you can see here directly under the status bar is a listing box titled child events containing several child events. So obviously this is a parent event. Now I'll select the event titled Back Bay Cafe and you can see directly under the status bar is a drop-down selector titled Parent, with the 2005 Nichols Newport Reunion selected. So, because this event has a parent, it means that it is a child event. A unique property of a child event is that it can be assigned to another parent, but only by the person who created the child event. Next, I want to demonstrate creating an event. I'll close this screen, going back to the main photo association page, and I'm going to find a picture that will allow me to demonstrate this action. Here's one. I'll select it, and then click Manage Event. This picture was taken by Chicky at Jake's house during the 1999 Nichols, Tennessee reunion. I'll type in the search box, Jake, and I find nothing that fits. So I need to create a child event 
and here is how that is done. First, I'll click on the black title of the parent selector to give it focus. You'll see this gold band around the selector when it has focus. Now, I'll type in 199 to get the selector to move to the 1999 Nichols, Tennessee reunion. Or, I could just pull down and select it. Then, I'll tab forward to the event and type in the name I want to give this event. I'll call it Jake's Gallery. Then, I'll tab forward to the description and type it in. Then, I'll tab forward to the Create button and hit Enter, or I could just click on it. Once you get the message in the status bar that the record has been added, you can click on the Associate button. And you can see under the picture in the listing box titled Associated Events that we have successfully associated the parent and the child with this picture. Notice that one of the buttons here under the description input area is titled Update. You will only see that button when you have selected an event that you created. Since I created this logged in as Chicky, she would be able to edit this event and even delete it to create another event if she so desired. You will not be able to edit events created by others. So you now know how to create a child event. Next, we'll create an orphan event. I'll click on the button titled Clear, and we now have a Create button. I type in the name of an event. I'm going to call it Orphan to Become a Parent. I tab forward twice, once in the description, and a second time to the Create button and hit Enter or I could have just clicked on it. We now have an orphan event. Now we'll create another orphan. I click on clear and type in a name. I'll call this one orphan to become a child. And I tab forward twice to the create button and hit enter. Right now both of the events we have just created are orphans. Now, here is the thing that makes orphans unique. They can become a parent or a child. In one operation, I will make the two orphans we just created a parent and a child to each other. If we look at the list of events in the parent selector, we will see the two orphans we created. So, this is important to remember. The events listed in the parent selector will be a parent already, or it will be an orphan. It'll never be a child. Now, when we select the orphan titled Orphan to Become a Parent and click Update, we have, in one operation, made the two orphans into a parent and child, respectively. And if we look again in the list of events in the parent selector, we'll see that the event titled Orphan to Become a Child is no longer listed there because it is now a child and children are never listed in the parent list shown in that selector. Now we will associate this child with this picture by clicking Associate. And you see over here in the Associated Events listing box that we have associated both the parent and the child with this event. I know this is a bit complex and can be confusing at first, but I have programmed it so that it will be hard for you to make a mistake, and if you do, it can always be fixed, so don't worry about it. Now, I want to cover deleting events. That is done with this button right here titled Delete which you will only see if you created the event. But here's the thing. Right now, we have the child selected. 
If we just wanted to delete this child, then we'd click Delete now. But if we want to delete both the parent and the child, it is best to select the parent. So this is the opposite of when you associate events. Then you select a child. Here you select the parent and I'll show you why. I'll select from the list on the left, Orphan to Become Parent. And now we see we have it selected. It has the child event up here and so forth. Now I will click Delete and you get a dialog box that asks if you are sure you want to delete the current event. By current, it means the one you have currently selected. And it tells you that it will remove all dependent events and associations. So watch what happens when I click OK. Because I deleted the parent, it automatically deleted any child event that parent has. And it goes out and deletes all associations of either parent or child with a picture. So it does all of the housekeeping for you. In that operation, we deleted an event, and it automatically deleted associations connected with it. But what if you want to delete an association that you inadvertently made? It is very simple. Again, you will only be able to do this if you are the one that created the association. I will pick an event over here at random. Let's see. I use the Poland Monastery event here, and then I'll associate that with this picture of Jake and his picture. And we get the parent of the Poland event, which was a Tai Chi event I attended in 2006 in Hong Kong. Of course, those do not go together with this picture. So I want to delete these associations. To do that, I double-click on the association. I get a prompt asking if I am sure I want to delete it. I click OK, and then that association disappears. Now, I'll delete the other one too, just to clean house. Well, that's about it. I know that we covered a lot of territory here, but with this video you can pause it and replay it to your heart's content until you become a master at associating pictures with people and events. Thanks for listening, and I love you all dearly.